here to discuss about adrenal gland disorders. Now there's two types. One is the hypo version of it, which is the Addison's disease. And the second one is the hyper version of it, which is the Cushing syndrome. First topic I will discuss about is the hypo version of it, which is the Addison's disease. Addison's disease is when there is a adrenal cortical insufficiency. This is when the adrenal cortex function is inadequate to meet the patient's need for cortical hormones. Causes of it are genetic, tumors, bacterial infections which are the uh, tuberculosis or histoplasmosis, and the most common is the autoimmune disease. Common clinical manifestations, weight loss, poor appetite, darkening of skin, Hypotension. Treatment for Addison's disease. Addison's disease involves in hormone therapy replacement to correct the levels of steroid hormones your body isn't producing. Some options for treatment include oral corticosteroids or prednisone, cortisone acetate, or hydrocortisone may be used to replace cortisol. As we finish talking about the Addison's disease, let's now move on to the Cushing syndrome. Cushing syndrome is a condition where your adrenal glands secretes too much cortisol than normal. Causes of it are uh, excessive use of corticosteroids, two more which are usually in the pituitary or the adrenal gland, and cancer of the lungs. Clinical manifestation. Truncal obesity Buffalo hump Moon face Treatment for Cushing syndrome Doctors may recommend drug therapy before surgery to improve signs and symptoms and minimize surgical risk. Medications to control excessive production of cortisol at the adrenal gland include ketoconazole, Metairaphone and mitotain.